Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Airedale Arena. We've got volleyball tonight, 5A West home finale for the Lady Airedales. Right now, let's uh, get ready for the starting lineups. First up is uh, Greenwood, led by Coach Jennifer Golden. And next up will be the Alma Lady Airedales. Alma's going to finish up on the road. They'll be at Mountain Home on Thursday. And tonight, October the 19th, the 2021 home finale. Always incredible how fast volleyball season goes. Football season is uh, week eight, and volleyball is in the final week. Let's meet the starters. Go. Greenwood comes in 11 and 1 in the conference standings. Greenbriars 12 and 0. Those teams are set to have a big showdown Thursday. And right now, second player make that third place. Mountain Home stands at 7 and 5. Van Buren is 5 and 7. They're in the fourth playoff slot. And still with an outside chance to uh, get in the playoffs, they've got to take care of some business. And it helps to have uh, Mountain Home ahead of you. The Lady Airedales tonight. Come in tied for fifth place with Bologna at four and eight. So some things can still happen, but the Lady Airedale is going to have to have to one out. And, of course, a tall task tonight. Greenwood coming to town. Coach Jennifer Golden and the Lady Bulldogs getting ready to take on the Lady Airedales. Now we'll set to serve it. That's Jocelyn Harless. And we're about ready to get this thing going. Greenwood's got good size. They've got middle uh, blockers in there at 6-1. Here comes the first uh, serve of the game, and here's a good set. And that's going to be a kill for Greenwood and a one nothing advantage. Very good set right there and an easy kill for Maya McCoy. 5'10 sophomore. There's a good set and a tip from Samantha Crook. 
Greenwood's going to set it, and here is a error, hitting error. That's on McCoy. And so gets one down and then has an error, and we are tied at one. Julie Nutt going to check in for the Lady Airedales. Nutt gets a nice ace, and it's a 2-1 Lady Airedale advantage here in this opening set. Have mentioned all you know throughout the campaign. The Lady Airedales have played really well at home. This the ball hit out of bounds. Alma's uh, comes in at four and two in the conference, so they've already clinched. They've already already clinched a winning record in conference at home. Three to one, Alma with the lead, and here is McCoy, and ball is dug out by Williams. That's a nice dig, and Lady Airedales keep it going. Here's a tip. Harless has got it. Here's a good set, and the ball is going to be saved by the Lady Bulldogs. Here's Dugan with the kill. That's Sarah Dungan. She is a junior defensive specialist with the kill. Three to two, Lady Airedales, and Alma trying to keep it alive, and they do. And here's a set, and the ball is down. The Airedales keep it alive. Crook gets it over the net. Greenwood's going to set it. That's a good set. Lady Airedales with the keeper. Here's McCoy. Alma digs it out, and here's the set from Nutt. And that one's going to sell out of bounds, and we're tied at three in the opening set. 3-3. Three, three. The Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Airedales. Senior night festivities will take place after this match is over. That is Samantha Crook. That's going to be a net violation, and that's going to be a point for the Lady Airedales. Kristen Lindley going to check in for Alma. Here's a good set from Nutt. Here is a swing from Williams that's blocked. Greenwood keeps it alive. Lady Airedale's up 4-3. to three. It's uh, going to be a lift and a 5-3 Alma lead. A couple of touches. Greenwood's got Liliana Gidrich out there. And, of course, they've got McCoy, Victoria Howard. That's an ace. And the Lady Airedale's now 6-3 to three in this opening set. Had a chance to talk with uh, Tim Golden and Jennifer, the coaches for Greenwood. They have really built a solid program. Here is a block by the Lady Airedales. That was McCoy on the swing. Greenwood gets it over. The Lady Airedales have a 6-3 advantage. Here's a set by Nutt, and Alma keeps it going. Greenwood keeps it going. That's McCoy into the net. 7-3 Lady Airedales here in the opening set. Takes uh, years of service to build a strong program, and the 5A West for I would say the last 10 years really and truly has kind of gone through Greenwood. There's been some others in there. Salem Springs has had a run. Here's a tip. That's going to be a point for Greenwood to make it seven to four. Lady Bulldogs played for a state championship back in 2011, and then of course uh, they won a couple. Had a dramatic match with uh, Jonesboro back in two or 2018. 7-4, Lady Airedale is trying to keep it alive. Here is Julian Nutt gets it over the net. And that's going to be an easy set and a kill to make it 7-5. Lady Airedale still have the lead here in this opening set. That's kind of been the Alma MO. They played really well at home. And just have not been able to take that magic on the road. 7-5 to five here in the first game. Jenna Williams digs it out. And here's the set. And Lady Airedales keep it going. Here's Greenwood. Williams with the tip. Nut the set. And 
Great job of the Lady Bulldogs to keep it going, and they get the point. Boy, never give up on it. And Greenwood gets the uh, the tally to make it 7-6. to six. That's three in a row for the Lady Bulldogs, who trailed 7-3, to three, but now trailed by just one, 7-6. to six. Here's Julia Nutt, nice set. That's Jenna Williams. And that's going to be a point for Alma, 8-6 Lady Airedales. Lady Airedales are going to head up the highway. They will take on Mountain Home on Thursday. Kylie Chow is going to check in to do some serving. Kind of depends on how the standings fall as far as uh, playoff seedings are concerned. Football team back on the road this week at Bologna. Here's a nice set and a kill for the Lady Airedales. Sophomore Miranda Gibson. And Alma's got a 9-6 advantage here in game number one. And better lucky. <laughs> Kylie Chow, all you got to do is get it over. And Kylie Chow got it over. And it is a 10-6 advantage. That matches the biggest lead for Alma, which was 7-3, to three, and that's a service there to make it 10-7. to seven. Kylie Chow, one of those underclassmen who will be back 2022. Lady Airedales keep it going. Here's a good set for Greenwood, and Lady Airedales dig it out. And that ball is going to be blocked. Harless keeps it alive. Here's a swing. Ball's tipped. That's going to be a point for Greenwood. Had a really nice set down there for the Lady Bulldogs. That was uh, Riley Holland who had a, a real, real pretty set, but the Lady Airedale is able to dig it out. It's now 10 to 8. Here's Jenna Williams gets it over the net. Here comes a swing, the Airedales block it, and that's going to be still going. Here's a swing, the Airedales dig it out. Lindley sets it, and that's going to be a block, 10-9. to nine. So the Lady Airedales lead is cut down to one. This is kind of where we were in game one last Thursday against Greenboro. The Lady Airedales were in it. They were down just 11-10. to 10. That goes out of bounds. So it's 11 to nine here in this first set for the Lady Airedales. Me and Nichols gonna check in for Alma, coach. Here comes the uh, serve, Lady Airedales set it and that's gonna be a kill. Student section gets that one. And that makes it 10 or 11 to 10. Second year for Coach Kimberly Weaver, the former Southside standout, played for Steve Hauser. That's a good back row dig from Lindley. Good set. And a tip. Lady Airedales keep it going. Greenwood responds. Here's Williams with the good swing. Dungan gets it over. Here's Williams again. That's going to be a kill. 12 to 10, Alma by two. So the Lady Airedales keep the momentum going. Jenna Williams set to do the serving. Gets her serve away. Great dig, Lady Airedales are gonna set it. And Greenwood could not respond. They kind of caught, got caught, were uh, looking around. That was Dungan, could not recover. And it's 13 to 10, Alma by three. That's a good dig in the back row, and Greenwood's going to get a set. Lady Airedales keep it going. That's Rachel James with a good set. Here's a set for Greenwood. Lady Airedales keep things going. There's a tip, 
and another four point lead for Alma, 14 to 10. That is the third time they have led by as many as four in this opening game. Here comes Williams on the serve, a good one. That was McCoy in the back row and ball is dug out. Lady Airedales are gonna set it. Here is a ball, nice save by Greenwood. And the Lady Airedales have a five point lead, 15 to 10. And Jennifer Golden wants a timeout. Alma 15, Greenwood 10, we'll be right back. Kevin Taylor back here at Airedale Arena, 15 to 10. The Lady Airedales have the lead in this opening set. I was talking with the Goldens before the game and trying to explain the craziness and the way the Lady Airedales have played at home this year in conference and a service there. Oh man, got all that momentum and now it's 15 to 11. Alma has victories at home in conference play over Salem Springs, Russellville, Bologna, And Van Buren, here's the Lady Airedales are gonna set it. Here's a swing, nice dig in the back row by the Greenwood. Here's McCoy, gets it over, and that's gonna be a kill for the Lady Bulldogs. That was a nice dig in that back row. And the Lady, Air, Lady Bulldogs kept it going. That was Victoria Howard with a nice play. Here comes the service, 15 to 12, Alma by three. Here is Williams gonna sell one out of bounds. And just like that, it's 15 to 13. Lady Airedales have that trip to Mountain Home. Hard to say what the conference will look like after this year. There's a ace, no! Oh! Alma keeps it going. But they're gonna call a two touch and a lift, make it 15 to 14, really. Things could be just incredibly different as far as the conference uh, is concerned for 2022. But one thing that's a fact is the Lady Airedales, the Lady Bulldogs, Van Buren, I don't think they're going anywhere. That's a kill for the Lady Airedales. That's me and Nichols, 16 to 14. Alma, Van Buren, Greenwood pretty much locked in, so they're all safe. But who knows what's gonna happen with the rest of the realignment when that day gets here. Ah, almost a, a lift, but the Greenwood Bulldogs keep it alive. Here is Alma getting the ball over the net. Good save by Greenwood. Howard keeps it going. That's another hitting there, and it is 17-14. Alma leads by three in this first game here on senior night, 2021. They're gonna honor the four seniors after this match is over. Here is McCoy, and that's a kill. Got her on the edge, and like all good hitters, she uh, had no trouble getting that one down. 17-15, Alma by two. Here's a tip for the Lady Airedales. Greenwood keeps it going. Here's McCoy again. Alma keeps it alive. Williams got to hurry, and they cannot do so. 17 16. And timeout. Coach wants to uh, talk about it. Let's break it with you. Timeout, Coach Kimberly Weaver. It's Alma 17, Greenwood 16. We'll be right back.
Kevin Taylor back at Airedale Arena. 17-16, Alma by one. Here is Jenna Williams with a really nice swing, but Greenwood digs it out. And the Lady Bulldogs keep it going. Here's going to be a set and a swing for Alma. That's going to be a point for Alma. That's got to be a touch. They're calling it Greenwood. That looked to me like it went off of uh, somebody's fingertips. And Weaver's going to ask to talk about it. I guess not. So we're tied at 17. That ball really jumped in the air. Here's a block, and that's going to be a violation, and Greenwood takes the lead, 18 to 17. That is the first lead here tonight for the Lady Bulldogs here in this, uh, or the second lead. They led it early, 1-0. Here's another block. And Greenwood takes advantage to go up by two, 19 to 17. Greenwood led it one nothing. Alma ran off three in a row, went up seven three, and right now they trail by two, 19 to 17. Here in this first set, here's a good set for Williams and the Lady Airedales get a nice swing, but Greenwood keeps it going. Here's McCoy, good set by the Lady Airedales and some miscommunication. And that's going to be an Alma point. Needed that one in a big way, 19 to 18. Julian Nutt's going to check back in to do the serving for the Lady Airedales. It's her serve. It's a good one. And that's going to be a point. Greenwood could not handle it in that back row. And the Lady Airedales have tied things up at 19-19. Here in game number one. All right, got to get it over. They do. 19 apiece here in the first game. Here is McCoy. Ball is going to be uh, down. Jocelyn Harless could not twist and turn back around in time. And it is a 20 to 19 lead for Greenwood. Here in this first set. Julian Nutt, good set, and good swing by James, but the Lady uh, Bulldogs keep it going, and McCoy gets one down. She finds some space, 21 to 19. And another timeout, Alma. Let's take it with you. Greenwood, 21, Alma, 19. We'll be right back. Back to play, it's 21 to 19. The Lady Airedale is gonna have to make a late run here. Down by a couple points to Greenwood. Here is a set and a kill for the Lady Bulldogs. That was a really good set. Good ball movement. And that was Landis Luke, a junior, doing the honors. Here's a good set and the Greenwood Bulldogs with the block to go up 23 to 19. So 23 19, here comes the swing on the serve. Lady Airedale set it, and here is Rachel James with the point to make it 23 20. Let's see if the Lady Airedales can wrestle up some of that home magic. Kristen Lindley going to check in to do the serving here for the Lady Airedales. Lindley gets a good serve. Here is Luke getting one over. Here is a set from Nutt and a tip for the Lady Airedales. And that's going to be a point out of bounds. Alma takes advantage. 
to make it 23-21. Good serve from Lindley again. Howard with a deep dig, and here is a save for the way. Oh, they're going to call a tip into the uh, – they're going to call touching the net, so the Lady Airedales take a huge break there to make it 23-22. to 22. Down 23-19. They've run off three in a row. Lindley, it's a good serve. That's a really good serve. Here's a ball set and a kill from McCoy. And uh, that makes it 24-22. to 22. Seems like she's been everywhere in this first game. So McCoy is serving. This is match point. The serve's going to go out of bounds. 24-23. So the Lady Airedales, a chance now to tie it. Jocelyn Harless is going to, nope, it's going to be uh, Kylie Chow doing the serving. Chow's going to check in. we got football this week. we got basketball coming up. Busy time of year. That's a good serve for Chow. Greenwood sets it. Here's a tip, and that's the ball game. Greenwood wins the opening set, 25 to 23. Let's take a timeout. as well. Here's Dungan. Nice dig there by Julia Nutt. Here's a set, and that's going to be oh, a nice play by Greenwood to keep it going. Nutt's going to set it again. And Rachel James swings. Greenwood digs it out. That's Howard. Howard's going to set it. McCoy's going to swing it. And a dig in the back row by Williams. Here's a no-look pass and a point for the Lady Airedales. Samantha Crook. Well done, five to three, Greenwood by two. Oh, that's a good set. McCoy gets it down, and the Lady Airedales dig it out. And that's gonna be a kill. Williams did all she could with that one, could not get a handle on it. That'll make it six to three. I don't know how your day has been going, but mine started at 4.30 this morning with a almost 11-hour drive from my dad's house. That's a, a swing and a hitting error for Alma. Had about a 45-minute construction wait. Got to love that long drive. 7-3 to three, Greenwood leads it by 4. This is a backwards from what happened in the first game. Alma led 7-3 early. That's going to be a legal touch and make it 7-4. Kristen Lindley going to check in for the Lady Airedales. Alma's got a bunch of these kids back, but they're going to lose some senior leadership. Kristen Lindley, one of those seniors. Rebecca McIntosh as well. That's a good block by the Lady Bulldogs to keep it going. Here's a set from Julia Nutt. And Williams swings but sells it out of bounds to make it 8-4. to four. So the Lady Airedale is down 8-4. to four. Trying to get it going. Lindley digs it out. And that's going to be a hitting there to make it 9-4. to four. So Greenwood has settled in here after coming back to win that first game, 25-23.
and right now they lead 9-4 to four in game two. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout. We'll be right back. Kevin Taylor back with you from Charles B. Dyer Arena. And the Lady Airedale's down nine to four here in game two. Julia Nutt's gonna set it. They gotta hurry to get it over and they're not gonna do it. That was a really good serve for Greenwood. And the Lady Bulldogs uh, cash in to make it a 10 to four score. Lady Airedales could not get it over in time. That's four touches, and that's going to be an 11-4 lead for Greenwood. So the Lady Airedales trying to regroup here. That was Carson Holland been doing the serving here. That one goes out of bounds. So the Lady Airedales will get it back. And Carly, Kylie Chow will come in and do the serving for the Lady Airedales. Chow with a good serve, that's an ace. 11 to five. Kylie Chow, good looking young player. I almost got some nice pieces that are sophomores as well. They'll have some kids stepping up next year. Here's a ball that's tipped. Lady Airedales keep it going. Here's a set and a ball that's down. That's Rachel James on the kill to make it 11 to seven. Miranda Gibson, one of those sophomores, be coming back. They got some other kids they're kind of excited about. Chow gets her serve away, it's a good one. Here's a kill for Greenwood. That's Madeline Bateman. Maddie Bateman. Twelve to seven, Greenwood by five. Lady Airedale is trying to make a run. That's a good kill or a good swing from Williams. Greenwood keeps it going, but that's going to be a grand out. A point to make it twelve to eight. So the Lady Airedale is down here, eleven to four have scored four of the last five points. Mia Nichols is going to check in on that front row for the Lady Airedales. Rachel James, a junior, she'll be back. Gets her serve away, and Greenwood keeps it going. Almost crashed into the bench. Here's a good set and a tip. Greenwood's going to set it. Back and forth we go. James with the back row dig. Here's a set and a point for Helma. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be lucky and they catch a break on that one. Good news with the Alma seventh grade football team. They're up 21 nothing over at uh, Northside right now. Good job by the future Airedale football players. Here's a ball that's down for Greenwood. That was a nice swing. And getting that ball down was Landis Luke. It's 13 to nine. The good news is it's 13 to nine. Almost played well here tonight. And that one's gonna go out of bounds. Alma controls its own playoff destiny. So if you can one out these last two, it's going to be tough. But if you can one out these last two, 
and see where things uh, shake down after that. Really, that's the same thing with the football team. They stand, that's gonna be a hitting there. Football team is two and two, and they also control their own destiny, although it's a tough one. They've got Veloni, Greenbrier, and upstart Farmington left to play. 15 to nine, Greenwood here, and that's gonna be a service error, 15 to 10. You just Rebecca McIntosh gonna check in for the Lady Airedales. Here's Williams on the serve. Greenwood keeps it going. Williams back row with the dig. Here's a set from James. Williams gets it over. Greenwood volleys back. Here's a set from Rachel James, and that one's going to be a block. Greenwood goes up 16 to 10. Game two here tonight. Lady Bulldogs took the opener 25-23. Greenwood's going to close it out Thursday. They've got uh, Greenbrier. That's going to be a tough one there. Greenbrier 12-0 going into tonight. That's going to go out of bounds. So the Lady Airedales down now 17-10 here in game number two. So the Lady Bulldogs, here is McCoy on the serve. Carlos has it, James sets it, and another block for Greenwood. That's been a, a theme here of late, and a tip and a score to make it 18 to 10, and a timeout for the Lady Airedales. So Alma down 18 to 10. This is the largest lead tonight, matching the uh, 11 to four lead that Greenwood had earlier here in game two. So we'll keep it with you. Airwaves Media here tonight. Alma Volleyball, home finale, going to have senior festivities after this match is over. Lady Airedale is going to hit the highway Thursday to take on Mountain Home. Mountain Home is one of those schools, we've talked about it a number of times, you just never know where they're going to end up. In the conference, you go back to the 80s, they were in there with Alma a number of times. They also had a bunch of playoff games between one another back in the day, football playoff games. But they were in there in the same conference in the 90s. And for the last two years, last year and this year, here's McCoy on the serve, and the Lady Airedales are going to dig it out. Here's a set from Rachel James, and that's a tip, and that's a point for Rebecca McIntosh. I've talked about it numerous times and it's so true these Alma seniors really done a great job of leading this year and McIntosh what an outstanding young lady just a good student plays tennis does a little track and field here's McCoy out of bounds 18 to 12 and a very good volleyball player and if you've known me for 15 seconds uh, uh, I'm all about multi-sport athletes you get one shot, you can't go back at 25 or 26. Greenwood's going to dig it out. Here's Howard trying to keep it alive, and she does. I've had a lot of kids over the years tell me they wish they had not given up and played everything. That's a kill for Alma, and that'll cut it down to 18 to 13. So the Lady Airedales, that momentum, volleyball momentum has switched here a little bit. McIntosh will do great things later in life. Here is Dungan with the uh, swing. Lady Airedales keep it going. That's McIntosh with the swing. Here's the set, and that's McCoy blocked out of bounds, and the point to Greenwood, 19-13 to 13 now. Great effort by Alma to keep it going, they do. Here's McCoy, out of bounds. You gotta take advantage of those swings when you get a chance, 19 to 14. Julian Nutt's gonna check in and do some serving.
Here's a set, and that's going to be a kill for Greenwood. 20 to 14 now. Mighty Bulldogs get it over, and here comes, oh, it's going to be a legal touch to make it 21 to 14. Good set from James. That's a kill for Alma. Boy, that's perfect right there. That's how you draw it up, 21 to 15. And Kristen Lindley will check back in. Lindley, another one of those seniors. She'll do great things in life. Had a good, good talk with her oh, a week or two ago, talking about the importance and how Coach Weaver has tried to, that's a kill for Greenwood, has tried to, you know, instill some leadership, and they've done some different things to try to get things going. They've also got their uh, younger kids involved. That's a hard thing to do. It's, it sounds easy. It sounds real simple, but you have to get everybody on board. It's not easy at all. Here's a swing. That's a nice serve. Lady Airedale's keep it alive, and here is Williams. And that's a point for Greenwood. Good effort by Jillian Nutt, 23-15. to 15. So the Lady Bulldogs... Won the first game 25-23, and right now they lead commandingly 23-15. Here's Nutt with the dig. Here's the set, and that's going to be a hitting there, 24-15. Good swing by Jenna Williams. Lady Airedales are going to set it. Williams gets it over, and that's going to be a point for the Lady Airedales. 24 to 16. Kylie Chow. Chow going to check in to do the serving here. That's an ace for Kylie Chow. 24 to 17. Let's see if the Lady Airedales can run off a couple points there. Chow was a good serve again. Lady Airedales get it over, and Greenwood's going to hit it out of bounds. 25 to eight, or 24 to 18. So, not so fast. Here come the Lady Airedales, three in a row. Kylie Chow set to serve again. And this one is was headed out. Howard saved it, though. And here's Greenwood tips it over, and that's going to be a point. So the Lady Bulldogs take game two, 25 to 18, and they now take a 2 nothing lead here in this best of five match. We'll take time out. We'll be right back.
Welcome to Bob and Wanda's Wagon Wheel, serving the best of home-cooked meals now in two locations, Van Buren and Barling. We have the friendliest of service and the tastiest of foods. There are plenty of menu items to choose from, a wide variety of appetizers, salads, sandwiches, and more. Travel to Barling and step into the wonderfully decorated original Bob and Wanda's, open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Or stop at our location in Van Buren and be greeted by a homey thing. Let's see if the Lady Airedales can get a little magic going here. Good serve by Jocelyn Harless. And the Lady Bulldogs are going to be down 0-1. Alma takes a 1-0 lead. And a good serve from Jocelyn Harless here in Game 3. Lady Airedales have certainly had their moments here tonight. Ooh, that's a lift and two nothing to lead for Alma. So the Lady Airedales down after losing the first game 25-23, they lost 25-18 and right now they're up two nothing in game three. Good serve from Harless again. And that's a mistake. Alma got caught out of position and a 2-1 lead or 2-1 lead for the Lady Airedales. Alma led pretty much all the way for much of that first game, but did not lead in game two. And that's going to be a point for Greenwood to make it 2-2. Spent the last part of this day, a long drive, getting ready for volleyball tonight. And that's a hitting error for Jenna Williams, and Greenwood goes in front 3-2. to two. So the Lady Bulldogs take their first lead here in game number three. That's going to be a kill for the Lady Bulldogs. That's four in a row, and Greenwood takes the lead now, four to two. So the Lady Bulldogs take advantage. They serve it, and Alma gets caught kind of looking around. They got to hurry, and they can't do it. So five in a row for the Lady Bulldogs on a good serve and a dig, but Lady Airedale is unable to get the rebound. Six in a row for Greenwood, who extends the lead now to six to two after spotting the Lady Airedales a two nothing advantage. Make it seven in a row. Weaver off the bench with instructions to her team. That's a good job of serving and credit should be uh, goes where deserved here by the serving. That's Lane Presley. That's a kill for the Lady Airedales. Mia Nichols with the honors to make it seven to three. Julian Nutt back in to do some serving for Alma. Good serve for Nutt, and that's going to be a point for Alma. Lady Airedales take the point, now 7-4. to four. That one might have gone out of bounds. Greenwood helped him out. Here's a set for Greenwood. Here's McCoy. A nice swing, but the Lady Airedales dig it out. Here's a set, and Samantha Crook. Greenwood keeps it going. Back and forth we go. And that's another point for Alma, seven to five. Go, 
And we've got a violation. And a point for Alvin to make it 7-6. So the Lady Airedales have run off four in a row after giving up seven straight points. Nice dig by the Lady Airedales. That was Julian Nutt. Alma gets it over. Howard saves it. Here's a set and a block. That's a point for Alma. Blocked by Samantha Crook. We're tied at seven. Here's a tip and Greenwood goes back in front. That's a hard thing to defend. So a game of runs. Seven straight for Greenwood, then five in a row for the Lady Airedales until that. Greenwood goes back on top, eight to seven. That's a nice serve, and that's a point for Greenwood. Nice job by the Lady Bulldogs on that serve right there. Doing the honors is Holland. Holland gets it over, and that's another good serve. Alma keeps it going. Here's a point for the Lady Bulldogs to make it 10 to 9. All right, I beg your pardon. It goes from 9 to 10. It's 10 to 7. Riley Holland, junior setter, gets her serve away, and that's a lift. And the point goes to Greenwood, 11 to 7. Crook with a good swing. Lady Bulldogs dig it out. And that's going to be a hitting there by Greenwood and 11 to 8. So the Lady Airedales down by three. There you are serving. And that one goes out of bounds. Lindley, a little bit too much on that one. That'll make it 12 to 8. So the Lady Bulldogs doing the serving. That's a good serve right there. And the Lady Airedales keep it alive. And they're going to get a point. It's going to go out of bounds. Good job there by Carson Holland. Carson Holland, number 20. And Riley Holland, number 2. Lady Airedale has cut it down to 12 to 9. Here is Kylie Chow with a good serve. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Nope, they're going to say the ball was tipped. And that's going to be a point for Greenwood. 13 to 9. And Fitzhugh on the call there. 13 to nine, Lady Bulldogs are serving again. This is Howard. Good serve by Howard. Lady Airedales keep it going. Holland with the set and another point for Greenwood. Presley on the kill. 14 to nine, Lady Bulldogs have the lead. Let's take a timeout. Back to play and a kill for the Lady Airedales. Make it 14 to 10. Yeah. 
Mia Nichols set to uh, serve for Alma, or uh, back in the game. This is James on the serve. Rachel gets it over. That's a swing for Greenwood, and the Lady Airedales are going to dig it up. That's a nice dig for Kristen Lindley. Alma's going to dig it, but it's going to go out of bounds. So it's going to be a point for Greenwood to go up 15-9. to nine. Here in game three, the Lady Bulldogs won the opening set 25-23, and they took game two 25-18. Right now they're up 15-10 in game number three. James with a nice set and a good swing, but it goes out of bounds. That was Jenna Howard. Jenna Williams, my bad. So the Lady Airedales fall behind now 16-10. to here in game number three. Greenwood on the serve, they get it over and that's gonna be a tip. And 17 to 10, Lady Bulldogs have the lead. This is Ashlyn Butler with the serving. Gets her serve away and the Lady Airedale set it. It's blocked. And Greenwood takes advantage, Presley on the block to extend the lead to 18 to 10. This is Butler again. Lindley digs it. Here's a set, another block. That was Miranda Gibson on the swing. Another set for James, another block. Alma's got to hurry and they do, but Greenwood tips it over to go up 19 to 10. Good also right there, good play. But Greenwood in the right position. Here's Butler on the serve. And that's an ace, 20 to 10. So the Lady Airedales battled tooth and nail on those first couple of games, but right now they're down by 10, 20 to 10 in game number three. That's another race for Butler. And Ashwin, a junior setter, swinging it 21 to 10 Greenwood. Julian Nutt's gonna check in for the Lady Airedales. Twenty-two to ten, the Lady Bulldogs. They were up fourteen to ten, and they've run off eight in a row to take a twenty-two to ten lead here in game number three in this best of five matchup. We'll wrap up things when this is over, and then we'll have uh, Anderson Terry here. He'll bring you all the the videography of all the senior night festivities. That's going to be a service there. So Butler that time did not get it over. And I checked that. That was not Butler. That was Dungan. Ashlyn Dungan. So 22 to 11. Higgins going to check in for the Lady Airedales. Be doing the serving here. 22 to 11. Gets her serve away, and that's an ace. That's an ace for Higgins. 23 to 13. 22 to 12. Higgins again. Gets it over, and nice job. Greenwood's going to set it. Nice dig in the back row with the Lady Airedales. Harless, here's a pass. Greenwood volleys, keeps it going. That's Howard with the set. Here's a tip for Greenwood. Alma gets it over. Greenwood tips it back. Almost got a hurry and they can't get to it. 23 to 12. The Lady Bulldogs have an 11 point lead here in game three. So the Lady Airedales trying to fight back down 23 to 12 here in game number three. Higgins with a nice dig. 
Lady Bulldogs keep it alive, and here's a ball that's uh, saved by Alma. They tip it over. Howard keeps it going. Set by Nutt. Harless sets it, and a swing by the Lady Airedales. That was McIntosh. Here's Greenwood with a point. 25, 24 to 23. 24 to 12. My brain's working too fast. I've got too much going on here in game three. 24 to 12. Here's the serve for the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs. And nice job of Greenwood to keep it alive. That was Howard. And that's going to be down, and that's a winner. Greenwood wins it tonight, 25-12 here in game number three. As they take it 25 to 23, 25 to 18, and then 25 to 12 in game number three. So the Lady Airedales finished at home with a winning record in conference play. Alma finishes with a record of four and three in the 5A West on their home court. And they've got one game left to play as they will take on Mountain Home. And again, we've got to, you know, we'll check the standings, see how things shake out. But uh, the Lady Airedales fall tonight 25-23, 25-18, and 25-12. So the Lady Airedales with their last home match here in 2021, getting ready for 2022. <laughs> And you know what? It'll be here before you know it. So a nice job. Magalie Higgins gets in, gets a, gets an ace. And the Lady Airedales get some players on the court. Senior night festivities are coming up. This is Kevin Taylor for Airwaves Media. And stay tuned for senior night festivities coming up next. <laughs> 